upper window. It's time to get priest. Have mercy, John, please. It's hot as hell in Philadelphia. Those men must have known the potential, at least, uh, and the stakes, certainly, were very high. Uh, so those are the kind of things that we look for and, and try and play. And the ideas and the concepts that, that were different at that point in time that we today take for granted and that then were new. They, ben Franklin at one point says, this is a new idea, no one, there's no precedent for this. Finding the humanity underneath because they, they are driven by a lot of the same impulses that we are driven by. And uh, they just make it to maybe a higher plane than some <laughs> of us do. But it's, it's this same direct impulse, this yeah. wanting to be known, wanting to be recognized, wanting to accomplish something, uh, wanting to be loved. You know, there's any number of things to draw from. And, and finding that human basic instinct in any character, whether it's historic or not, is only going to help you. I say vote, yes. Sit down, John. Vote for independence. Someone ought to open up a window. No, no. I understand the sort of persistent uh, quality that he has. Like, like, like we were talking about, he's in, in the show, especially obnoxious and disliked. But it's because he just, he doesn't stop. For God's sake, John, sit down. But God, consider yourselves fortunate that you have John Adams to abuse. For no sane man would tolerate that. He doesn't ever stop and it's annoying to people and it's horrible to people, but what he's talking about is, it's very moving. You know, it's, it's why we're all here and why we're allowed to do the things we're allowed to do. Oh, say, do you see what I see? Congress sitting here in sweet serenity. I could cheer, the reason's clear. For the first time in a year, Adams isn't here. The most difficult thing uh, in, in playing him is that uh, to the untrained eye or to a, for an easy, uh, easy differentiation, a lot of people look at him as the villain, and he's not. And um, he's just somebody who has a very strong point of view as to uh, his, uh, his loyalty to his motherland. We are cool, we are cool, cool, considering men whose life may never ever be seen again. It's a challenge to uh, portray him in that light of somebody who is uh, very passionate about what he feels and yet not to come across as the bad guy. Ed Rutledge is a southerner. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm from the South, I've, I've got that going for me. Um, uh, he's also 26, I'm 26. Hmm. So there's a lot of useful parallels uh, uh, for me there. I'm not, not sure, uh, I'm certainly not a wealthy landowner, <laughs> but... Uh, but soon to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soon to be. But, uh, but yeah, I, mean, I think there's a fair amount of parallels. I mean, these, these guys are just normal guys, hmm. you know, that uh, were just trying to do their job just kind of like, you know, we are. Be cool. Oh.